can. <laughs> okay, hi. Um, you like to know who I am, and I'm sure you know this is a very famous tweed person, Amanda. Amanda Bowden. Amanda, can you tell us a little bit about the, what this is? Uh, this is the plaque for the Tweed Park. It's been here a while anyways. And as you can see, a lot of people come here for fun, but not right now. It, it, would you say this is one of the highlights of Tweed? Sure. People come from all over to swim in our Tweed Lake. All dogs must be on leashes, except those that aren't. Far too many dogs in this town. I like the dogs all. But but you know. Hi Jesse. Hey. If I fall in the creek and river, uh, just a second. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not. I'm, uh, one of the things that I've been about press between is, is their uh, little park here, and, and they have, they're trying to capture, like, the dual thing here, like, there's a park bench out there, and it's one of those park benches that you have to swim to in order to get to, and that's kind of nifty, and apparently this is the Stokoe River, and people here in the Stokoe River go out, swim out to the uh, picnic tables in, in order to, to, to have a little party, and here comes a big dog. I guess that's part of Tweed, too. <laughs> And then we have a couple of kids going round and round. This is, of course, always part of Tweed's culture. <laughs> yes, so it's fine. We just got them this. This is our lovely new sandbox for handicapped people. And as you can tell, there's lots of sand. Handicapped people because they can bring in their wheelchairs and play with the sand instead of getting on the ground and playing in it. All right. You just come up and say, I think Amanda's wrong. I think this is for the really fat kids to play in the sand. Um, here's a nice sign, uh, Entering Tweed. I'm, I'm not sure whether this is the exact uh, old welcome to Tweed sign. Most of the tune up now or wait for the rush. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but let's do it. Here's where, if we wanted to, we could stop for real estate information, but I don't know anybody who wants to live here, so we're not doing that. I don't know what that means. Can you tell us a little bit about the pallet place? The pallet place, they do all the lumber and stuff. So. Do they make pallets? Okay, fair they enough. They do all the wood things. They're called pallets. Yes, they make pallets. Good. Moving on. How come he's out of school? Uh, here's one of Tweed's churches, St. Andrews. Apparently, from the people I have with me, there's six or seven churches in Tweed. A lot of praying going on here. North America's smallest jailhouse right here in Tweed. What do you Tweed, can you give us uh, Joe's custom carpentry? Yeah. Give us uh, your opinion in a few words of the Tweed a good place? Yeah, it's a good place. Yeah. Small. <laughs> what do you think the best part of it is? Right across the street there. <laughs> the IGA? No, oh, the beer store. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a sign up here. It said that there was a liquor store that way too. Yeah, that's a pretty good start, man. Okay. You're gonna do the hand. This is your turn. Keep your arms open and say, "This used to be." And tell them what. Is it amazing? Not really. Uh, hey, the gift store is pretty good. It's so bad. But why? Why do they call it the amazing? Because they couldn't think of a better name, and they okay. want to be original. Thank you. Okay. I like particularly like that. Uh, <laughs> The room with the ins we have it the insulation room up top there. This is the Tweedsmere Hotel, and for what they tell me, it's a uh, it's a hotel with the tavern. But these are fire hydrants, and apparently they've been painted by some famous Saint Teresa students like uh, Tanya Tremblay and others. And uh, I don't know why they painted them, but people I talked to said because they didn't have anything better to do. And uh, welcome so, to Tweed. Yeah, it's the best place on earth. Yeah. <laughs> and do you have any? any good, town. Yeah, I understand. Uh, I understand you've got. Uh, like a little competition next door? Not much. Not much? No, they just oh, they get the fluids there. They just get fluids, you, yep. you get the hard we stuff. You get the hard stuff, right. <laughs> you got that right. We have lots of nice things. Little stores and lots of nice friendly people. That's the main thing. It's you people from Tweed, they sell these things right in the IGA. And I know a bunch of you should be buying some of them. Whoa, what steep steps. Uh, we're in Tweed, we're at uh, Tweed. 
in Tweed, and this may not be the oldest building in Tweed, but it houses the oldest resident. The oldest resident in Tweed, his name's Ray Lesage. He's just about the same age as the Earth, or at least that's what we understand. So Ray Lesage lives here. Uh, he's not here now. He's at school or, or, or under a rock or something, but, but he lives here and looks like quite a nice house. I'm surprised that, uh, that he could handle such a place. This is, this is the uh, one, another one of the hydrants painted. This is right beside Mitchell Sage's house. I understand he painted it uh, three or four years ago when uh, he didn't have anything else to do with his life and was kind of bored. I think Trees fast by legend Bassett. It's his brother that owns this place and uh, it's a pretty cool place for Trees. And here is a 1932. just was, was put, uh, management and staff of the Sage Incorporated ran that, so I assume that must be Ray Sage's family. Pretty old, aren't they? Yeah, just like Ray. Greyhound, <laughs> Greyhound going out of town. Everybody who lives between will get that. Have you seen Elvis yet? I know, is Elvis, where does he hang out? He's supposed, to, uh, supposed to live here. I know he's supposed he takes to. Takes the uh, bus to auto every once in a while. Does, so he rides with you? Oh yeah. Yeah? Uh, He'll be here April Fool's Day on uh, April 1st. Okay. Bye bye, bus. Here they are, the Greyhound bus leaving town. Tim Hortons is up there on the other side of the bridge. Welcome to Tweed's new Tim Hortons. We just got it in November, and it's one of the new things we're proud of. Very proud. The amazing green bridge. Oh, I know that bridge. I don't want the name. Whatever. Brought to you by this old man. Well, I'm, uh, I'll soon be 88 year old. We used to come here with the, come in here on Saturday night with the horses. And I was just, so it's quite a, so it's quite been a, a long time. Just, yeah, yeah, four or four of that. Mm -hmm. yeah. The only town in this entire province that advertises its liquor store with highway grade signage. What would Tweed be like without the liquor store? <laughs> nice friendly people in Tweed. They're only nice too when you're gonna go buy something. Or if you're 19 or older. Yeah, that too. You wanna be where everybody knows